Hey everyone, this is Kate. I just wanted to kind of show off my collection of Zencraft Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I currently have seven. Um, I have had a few others over the past year and whether it was the size or the leather, um, I have sold them to other people in the Facebook groups. But these seven I have held on to for a while, one of which is actually very new, but the others, and I just kind of wanted to show you some of the different sizes and leathers. M most actually, I believe one, two, actually five out of the seven are all Oregon Trail leathers. And that is just my absolute favorite that he offers. Um, but I will just give you guys a quick walkthrough. I'm gonna turn the camera this way. Um, I actually have two, these two notebooks here are both the pocket or field note size in the Oregon Trail leather. And one of the cool things about this leather, this one you can tell has quite the scar, but this leather marks over time in like a really nice way that I do like how it shows the character. And so I ended up picking up, this, this one was from quite some time ago. Um, and we can just open this up to look inside the standard um, tech pockets. There's one on the front and on the back. And then the business guard um, slot here. And this one I wanna say has two elastics inside. So I have, um, he actually uh, put this insert in when I bought the notebook, which is cool. I like how it's the Oregon with the Oregon Trail leather. And then I have a card holder and pocket and then these really vertical card holders that I love. So I just kind of put these in here to fill it up. I kind of like, instead of having my inserts separate, I always kind of try to just fill up the notebooks, even if I'm not utilizing them. Um, and then this one was probably just a couple of months ago. Um, he was, you know, Han was running, just putting up a couple of these for sale on his ISO site and I picked this one up because I really love the leather, I love the size, and I just kind of love the markings on it. So those two I'll set aside, and then this one right back here is actually also a field note size, but it's his, the extra large. So there are four elastics inside, and I know the lighting in here isn't really, really great, but it's a little bit lighter. Obviously, it's just from a different part of the hide, but it is um, a bit of a lighter brown as well as you can really kind of see that there's a lot of smooth, but also a lot of textured leathers. A bit of like a pebbly leather on the back, and I, I just kind of love that about this leather. Um, I have put quite a few field notes in here just to fill it up, just to kind of see how it would fit. I still kind of feel like a lot more could go in here because this is quite a bit of, um, like the notebooks overhanging quite a bit. So I suppose if I put three or four notebooks in here, more than this, it would still fit. Um, I really just kind of like that it's, I like the size. I guess I just kind of love this leather. So I went for it and got this one as well. And then the next Oregon Trail I'll show you guys is my favorite of all time. This is my A6. And you can kind of start to see, like, it's really from this charm, but you can kind of see all the markings it has. It just kind of scuffs up really easily, but it's also a very soft leather, um, like a very smooth soft leather. So yeah, I kind of just see the marks there. This is a bit of a thicker notebook. I fit quite a bit in here. And there are two elastics. Uh, let's open up and look inside. I have, um, I have a couple of inserts I bought specifically the A6 size. Jerome Phillips on Facebook made this leather insert. It has two pockets over here and then it has the zip pocket on the, um, the other side. And I just kind of stuck that underneath a couple other inserts. Um, this, these little notebooks that'll have different maps on them have the Toma River paper inside. There's a 
shop on Facebook that I will have to link below for you guys that will make these and you can pick from a lot of different covers and a lot of different types of paper. So kind of love that. I also have this Hello Sunshine dashboard, um, which is cute on this side as well. It has some flowers. And then I just threw these sticky notes in the back. Um, I just kind of love the colors. It's a, makes, it might be a little bit too big for this notebook, but I don't mind that it's bulkier. So yes, I would definitely say I would love to find a way back into this notebook. I don't, I can't imagine ever letting it go. Um, and then my last Oregon Trail is my standard size trifold. You can see that there are four, it's the fourth elastics down here. There are four notebooks in here. I did attach some floral charms to the bookmarks. And one thing that I've always really loved about the trifold idea is that it just keeps everything very compact. And even though it might be like a bit of a thinner leather, nothing kind of moves around. It um, keeps it all um, in there tightly, which I do like. And then these are um, the lightweight paper Midori inserts. And see where they have the brand on it. Traveler's Notebook. Um, is that really thin paper? It might be Toma River, actually. It kind of all reminds me of that. And it's my favorite kind of paper to write on. You do get a bit of ghosting with regular gel pens, as you can see here, but I don't mind that at all. Um, and then in the last one, I just put one of these list inserts that I have, um, mainly because since it was much narrower, it wasn't gonna it was still going to fold nicely when I closed the book. So this one I actually requested of him quite some time ago um, when I was putting in my order. So I'm not totally sure he's made this size and style often, but I really, really love the trifold and um, my favorite standard size notebook that I have. Okay, so that's all my Oregon Trail. Um, the two other Zen Craft Traveler's Notebooks that I have are, there's this wide size in the Desert Fox leather by Fold. It fits the larger moleskin notebooks really well. I have three of them are the notebooks and then under one elastic I have a folder. Um, there are four elastics so each notebook or folder has its own. Just the standard tech pockets and card business card holder, but um, I just this leather is really cool. Like it's a bit, I guess I know it isn't like a suede, but it almost has that texture to it a bit. Um, obviously, it shows scuffs and marks, which is always what I look for in a leather that I like. And I'm currently using a wide from Chic Sparrow because the pockets work really well for me. Um, but I do really love this leather and so I think I'll hold on to this size. And then lastly, this is the Copper Cobra. It is something I just got this week, this last week from one of the sales he was doing. Um, the books left over from his holiday bazaar. And it has the handmade charm and this cute tree charm. I just like the charms he uses too, so this is really fun. Um, the yellow elastic is cute too. And so this came with this insert, Field Notes insert, it is pocket size. It's a pocket extra large, meaning you could fit quite a bit in there. You can see all of the overhang compared to the Field Note size notebook. Um, but this one has a pen loop. I realize that this is the only Zencraft I have that has a pen loop, and he makes it really cool. He actually puts it in between the two layers, which I like that. So this book was originally purchased because a good friend of mine might be able to use this size. Um, so if that's something she chooses not to use, we'll see if I can find a use for it. Um, but it is cool to try out some of his other leather, so I do really like that. So thanks for taking that fun little journey with me. 
Um, I'll probably do a couple more videos based on some other makers whose notebooks that I have as well. I have quite the collection, but I will definitely say that Johanna and Israel is one of our favorites. Thanks.